sleep. I've been up <sighs> all night. Every time I look at the clock, it was 10, 48, 11, 11, 12. Like, it's just, I can't sleep. I gotta figure this out. How to get myself to go to bed early. I might have to take melatonin. I still got an hour and about 15 minutes before my alarm go off at 4. But, we'll see. So I can get up and get ready for the gym, but I'm about to head to the bathroom now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Wonder why my alarm didn't go off. And I'm thinking I have time. I'm like, oh, my alarm didn't go off. I still got time. And yeah, I didn't even pick a day at all. But I got to hurry up and get dressed because I got to be out of here by 5. So, yep. See the heartbeat above where it says training settings? Once I get to the um, uh, gym, I'll press start to start my workout. And my heartbeat is not that fast. I gotta. Oh, it's saying 202. Mm -mm. Yeah, but anyhow, y'all will see my calorie burn on this later. So here is my breakfast, and it was tasty. And these are the vitamins I'm taking, some minerals and some moringa. And then I have my cup of water that I usually freeze a block of ice in and put water in it for the gym. Got my sneakers, but they were muddy. Now they're clean and it is time to head out. Look who's here with me. <laughs> Early in the morning. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> we both, like, literally, I don't know if y'all can see me, but we both, like, literally was not able to sleep last night hoping that we didn't wake up late but she was out there bright and early waiting for me so i'm getting started and i will talk to you guys later we just been just on the um treadmill chatting and walking just to warm up get my body back acclimated to the gym so nothing hard or nothing like that is going down and she over there getting it still walking too <laughs> working on it it's a little hard but I'm it is on. it is I, I feel my body getting hot i feel the warm-up but i need it yeah but yep just easing my way back in here but we are here that's the key we are here all right y'all you okay mom this is my burn Three. Like this is just us trying to get look at mom tell me she feel what you say you feel what I feel woo. I know make you feel woozy yeah. when you get off of this so this is our burn my burn here and um we are done this is just getting myself acclimated and getting back um easing my way in it but this was my day one all right so just stay tuned for my meals and stuff and my feelings for today later on it's 6 38 and I am back home get ready to take this mess off put all my stuff over there gotta get a edit up edit up you mean edit my um video from my other channel wake the kids up it's time for them to get up for school and um just share the rest of my day as far as what i eat and then talk about how i felt this day at the end of the day before i rest and you guys can oh it's on my lip something was on my lip so I will um chat with you guys a little bit later. All right, bye. Ten twenty. I have been so tired. I I really want to lay back down. I'm just like so exhausted for some reason. But this is what I'm gonna snack. I'm getting ready to eat some black olives, some grapes, and some almonds. Um, as a snack, cause I'm not really hungry, hungry. So and drink my lemon water so that's what i'm getting ready to have quite finished these here um but i ate the olives and some of the almonds i didn't even eat any grapes but i had a taste for this so i'm gonna eat this 
in this because I had a sweet craving. So I made this caramel rice cake. So I'll eat that later. Triple wash, pre wash. Yeah, right. I still wash them. I cannot wait to the weather. I think April is when you can start planting your your um garden because we're gonna do nothing but collard greens. But yeah, talking about some um what they call it? Triple pre wash, yeah, right. Mm -mm. I don't like these big fat stocks. I don't like these stocks in mine. I just take all of them out. I just want nothing but leaf, 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 leaf. And a lot of these are not good, so I have to clean these. Even if they claim they've been washed, I'll wash them again. So for dinner, we're doing this. And we have a roast pork roast butt in here. And we're trying that um, slow cooker stuff we got from Aldi's that's like sweet and spicy bourbon something. We're trying that. It smells good. So it was supposed to just put the meat in there and the sauce and no water or nothing. So we shall see how that works. And I'm doing macaroni and cheese. But guys, I'm not going to eat much of that. So you guys will see my plate. But yeah, this is how the day is going. I've been craving sweets like crazy. I'm literally eating a strawberry while I'm doing this. Um, I ate the grapes. I ate the um, the almonds. I had a orange with the rice cake. I ate the olives, so I've been snacking all day. But I haven't ate nothing like a major meal or anything. So I'm waiting for this because I want this to be done at least. It's 2:30, so hopefully this will be done by six, and we can grub and I can relax and be in the bed by no later than 10 is my goal. Something sweet, and this really is trying to hit the spot. My mom-in-law texted me and told me she had this. I forgot about putting peanut butter or almond butter on a rice cake. So good. So, yeah, this help versus eating cookies and cakes. <laughs> it is actually helping with the sweet tooth and drinking a lot of water. And I just scarfed down some bacon. I think it was like three slices of bacon um but we always cut our bacon in like little pieces when we put them on the foreman like half and if they stretch too long sometimes three so i just had some bacon and i would say it was no more than like four slices at tops but yep i ate that junk so fast y'all forgot to show it to y'all but i got this i said oh let me show them what I'm eating so you guys can kind of see what I'm eating and see that I'm not really restricting myself ridiculously and trying to eat nothing and stuff that I won't normally eat or wouldn't eat at all so yeah yeah but this right here is so good this is a natural um peanut butter and I just rubbed it over a caramel um rice cake from Aldi's so all right it's been bugging me about the candied fruit that you see in a lot of videos so I just put all these on a skewer for her and um we about to make them candied by hold on she's stirring it the candy right now. Oh, it should be done. It's turning brown, y'all. Yeah. But we gotta get going to be drizzling this stuff on the candy. I would say go like this, but you got some? Yeah. Oh, put this one. Put this one. Yeah. Got some. Put them over there. I'm going to bring it over there. And just kind of do this, right? Yeah. Is that what they say? Oh, it's making the things bust. They busting. Yeah. Set it down. Set it down. Oh. Set it down. Shit, we'll see how they come out. <laughs> then what you got from the refrigerator or something? Mm -mm. No? They how long do you let hard. it sit? Um, kills all that. Well, we got a lot of sugar, so. Ooh, that cold. <laughs> see how these come out? They're supposed to be like a candied fruit where it's like crunchy. Ooh, hold the spot. The sugar getting dark. Yeah, we let it sit for too long. Too long? It's all good. So, it was the know. first time. So, the strawberries, it's like it's getting hard fast. I just know. We shall see. My baby wanted to try it, so we shall see if they crunchy. They're getting hard, though. Mom, can we put the water in here, sweetie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I got to clean up. I made a small, no, not normal size, like not the size we normally used to eat in, but it's kind of thick, but enough for us to have um, this. Well, they, they have seconds. I'm not going to have seconds, but I have will have a little bit of this. You will see my plate later. We're still waiting for this pork butt to continue to break down. And the greens are... Big. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Hold on. Y the greens are done, but I'm about to wrap this up. I'm just going to throw this in the oven. I'm about to go continue watching some Netflix after I 
clean this up and he's gonna shoot that in about 6 30 because that's almost broken down and it'll be dinner time and then you guys will hear my thoughts for today because i gotta share some stuff with y'all plate and i got a little bit of mac and not a lot and the pork butt and my collards and that's what i'm eating for dinner and i can't wait to crush it i need some black pepper on my macaroni but that is it all right guys all right guys so this is basically what you're gonna get for confession not in a bad way but i'm just relaxing it is time for bed but before i go to bed i want to um edit this to get this out for you for tomorrow which will be tuesday for you um that you will be seeing this today my body hurts so bad all i did was do the treadmill with my mom for an hour and it hurt so bad um I had some of my, you know, people that love me contacting me and telling me, you know, you got this, you could push. Just just making me feel good. And, um, yeah, dinner was good. I'm going to make sure I get all of this down tonight, um, which is some lemon water. And I'll probably drink this down and get even more. Now, um, being that I want to get these videos out and I don't want to be up too late, I will, um, you see how them eyebrows is coming in. Oh, my gosh. Do you see it? Y'all, my nails look a hot mess. I literally start peeling away. When they start to peel, I just start peeling away at them, peeling away at them. I got to take this stuff off, so I'm probably going to wipe this off tonight. I don't know. Yeah, I am. If you see it, don't judge me. Judge yourself, okay? Okay? Because I do not like when my nails do this. I hate this. I hate this so much. See, I'm off track already. But anyways, so today... I felt so good. Um, I was resting. I literally am going through withdrawals. And my husband was like, babe, it's because of the sweets. And I looked it up. And I knew this before. Like, I this happened to me before. Like, I literally was going through. No, not was. Am going through withdrawals to the point where I feel, ugh. Ugh, lethargic. I feel extra tired. I feel exhausted. I feel, I just don't feel like me. But I'm going to keep pushing. Um, and everything I ate today, I told you guys everything I ate, I will be eating. Um, cause I just, I'm, I'm a person that has to, it's something, my grandmother used to do the same thing. I have to have something sweet before bed, like a dessert or something. So I will be eating a rice cake. That's a promise. Promise. It's just going to be a rice cake with peanut butter, um, is what I'm going to be eating. Um, and I'm not going to eat that yet cause I ate dinner and I took a shower and I'm not ready for that right now. So I probably won't eat that for like a little bit. So probably when I'm done editing, I'll get up, go down and get my little rice cake. And that'll be the end of my night. I'm not going to eat anything else. I promise. Okay. So my mother-in-law texts me and it just made me feel so good. She says it was out the blue. And I was like, dang, you know, that made me feel good. She texts me earlier. She says, well, how are you holding up? Um, from this morning how are you how are, how are you holding up from this morning i'm doing good no cheating at all i had the rice cakes and put peanut butter on them and i had two for and two for my lunch um and i had pretzels and peanut butter and i had some grapes and two of my cuties so that's all she basically was eating um basically what we're doing is we don't have a specific diet now my menu that that i planned um, that's going to be the menu. We're still going to eat that too, but like you see in moderation. And when I say in moderation to some people, you won't understand, but it's little steps, guys. Let's just take little steps because here's the thing. I am used to eating like the size of my hand and macaroni and cheese on my plate. You get what I'm saying? So I am trying to do better with that and not eat as much. So the key is you know, being more moderate with it and not overdoing it where I'm eating two people portions at one time. You get what I'm saying? And be satisfied with that. And the key is also drinking a lot of water. So she said that and I was like, I did good. I'm going through a sweet withdrawal. You just reminded me of the peanut butter and the rice cake because I had the rice cake earlier. And I told you all that when I was um doing my um clients here, I wanted something sweet so bad. So I ate a little cutie and a rice cake and I was like, 
dang it, I should have put peanut butter on it. So my husband gave me some banana so I can put like banana, peanut butter and all that on my rice cake. This is what I'm doing that works for me. I am a sweet eater. That you, I'm taking it step by step for me. You know, I know it's other ways to do things. I know it is, but I am not going to jump cold turkey into anything. This is a lifestyle change and I'm taking it step by step. And those have that have been on this journey and fell off just as myself has have done in the past understands I need to take it step by step in the way that works best for me. Because if I just go gung ho and do too much, then I find myself being overwhelmed by it. So that's kind of how what this day was today. Other than that, um, I don't think it's nothing else. When I tell you my body aching so bad, like around my hip area, my lower back area, it hurts and aches so bad. And I just feel like I'm sick and I'm not. Like, that's the feeling I have. So, yeah, I got like a sick feeling over me. Then my husband saying that um, any antibiotics might still be in me as well because that made me feel some type of way. So maybe in a couple of days, hopefully that'll subside as well. Also, with someone telling me on here that it take like four days for the sweets to get out your system, um, for you not to really crave them. But I'm like, is that going to work? Because I'm peanut butter. like, And then I'm eating like fruits and stuff. Not like no sweet sweets. But I don't know. We shall see. But you can leave comments below. You know, I don't mind reading things and suggestions. I'm not saying... I don't want to hear nothing nobody says, but I'm trying to figure it out for me. And some suggestions may be something that will work for me because I may not know. Hey, let me try this or I haven't tried that. So I get that. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys are um, having an awesome day and I hope you guys are pushing as well. And that is it. That's the end of this day. And we shall see how tomorrow goes. And I want this to be real deal. Like if I mess up, make a mistake, eat something I shouldn't overeat something or whatever. I'm going to let you guys know. Now, I did um, taste that meat a couple times because it was so bomb. That meat is so tender and so good. But I rather taste meat than to eat a cupcake. Real talk. Or or cook chocolate chip cookie or something, you know? So, all right, y'all. I don't want to make this too long. Let me go edit this so I can get this out to you guys and prepare for tomorrow. Got to get up at like 4, 430 in the morning. I ended up getting up at 420 something, so that was perfect. And I still was able to get up and get out the door on time. So I think I'm going to get up at like 430, give me a little bit more time to rest. All right, talk to you. Later, get